We begin with the southern border bracing for a potential surge of migrants. The pandemic era immigration policy, Title 42, coming to an end. But officials saying they have not yet seen that feared influx. The Biden administration defending its new immigration policy in and out of court as migrants crowd the border. And we have team coverage on the impact from the southern border to northern cities already declaring states of emergency as asylum seekers are being bussed in. And we start this morning with ABC's Will Carr, who's live in Brownsville, Texas. Will, good morning to you. Good morning, Janae. There have been concerns for a long time that there would be chaos and disorder when Title 42 was lifted here at the border. Well, so far, that hasn't happened. So we went into Mexico to find out why and what we can expect next. This morning, uncertainty and confusion at the border following the end of Title 42, the COVID era policy allowing for swift expulsions at the border. No mas. Hearing of a large group of migrants at the border ready to claim asylum, we crossed into Matamoros, where 1,500 people are living in tents. This is a massive campsite on this side of the river here in Mexico, and it is filled with people living in squalid conditions. Some tents assembled with nothing more than tarps and tree branches, and there are piles and piles of trash. Across the river, there's razor wire and the National Guard. Most migrants tell us they're waiting to book an asylum interview on the CBP-1 app, but continue to have problems with the technology. There is no internet going on this border town. Internet is very important or you can't use the app. Those who have made it across describe a terrifying path. We met Betty from Ecuador outside of a bus station in Brownsville, carrying a blue bag with all of her documents she crossed just before Title 42 was lifted. It's hard to get a visa in Ecuador, she tells me. I had to save my family's life and come here this way. But Friday, DHS officials saying the surge so far has not been as drastic as many predicted. We did not see a substantial increase overnight or an influx at midnight. Still, an estimated record 10,000 migrants crossing per day this week, 1,800 coming into El Paso on Thursday alone. Confusing matters, a federal judge in Florida on the eve of Title 42's end, blocking part of the White House's immigration policies from taking effect, now barring federal agencies from releasing migrants before they've been given a notice to appear in court. The White House blaming the last minute litigation as a Republican stunt. Instead of trying to deal with an issue or talking to the federal government how to deal with an issue, they actually sabotage what we're trying to do. But many Republican and Democratic leaders nationwide calling on the administration for more support. New York City and Chicago declaring states of emergency as cities nationwide struggle to deal with the influxes of migrants. And we've seen many of those migrants bust from right here in Texas. Moving forward, it's unclear exactly what we're going to see in the coming days and weeks. There is still the concern, though, that there could be a surge. Eva. Will Carr for us there at the border. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.